What's up, nail geeks? I am kicking off this weekend with a new collection from Scoflaw Nail Varnish. We have the spring set to take a peek at today. This is a set of seven Krellies in a variety of glitter sizes and shades. Um, they are super pretty. I also want to note that she also has a new brush in her bottles, at least it was new to me, and it is a paddle style brush. So you'll see here in just a moment that it really helps spread these polishes across your nails. And spoiler alert, we have excellent formulas to check out. So. Without further ado, let's get started. First up is Ghost Snails Haunt Garden Paths, described as a ghostly blue-white cream base with blue and lavender flecks, shimmer, and flakes. So per usual, I'm gonna show you guys the butt label of them, as I know some of you are collectors and um, you definitely wanna see those before you grab your polishes. So this has a very creamy like feel on application. It does feel like a touch of um, a Crelly style formula to it. However, it's very dense, it's very heavy, but it is very smooth on application. So you can see with that paddle style brush now, it just really helps to get that polish across your nails very evenly, very smooth. This one has quite a bit of a self-leveling factor to it, so really easy use on this one. For opacity, I'm going to suggest two coats on it as since it self levels so wonderfully and it does have that um, somewhat heavier feel to it, I personally can't really see many people needing to go to a third coat on it, but um, once again, definitely depends on your preference. This one does dry down quite a bit on the flat side, so you are seeing a glossy top coat applied in the final look. And next we have Sharpen Your Horns, Gore Your Enemies. This is a burnt orange cream base with matte red glitters of various sizes and finished off with a violet shimmer. So this is um, a little bit more on the Crelly side as compared to Ghost Snails, the previous one I just showed you all. However, it still has that very um, strong, strong opacity and density to it. So. Once again, on this one, I'm gonna suggest two coats for full opacity on it, as it has wonderful coverage on it. Now, I do feel like the video is being color accurate to what I'm seeing here in person, um, in bright lights. So I definitely agree that the on the official description of it, that is a burnt orange type of base. Um, it definitely has just a touch of a almost brick red undertone to it, um, if that makes sense. So we also have those lovely little red flecks across the nails too. Now this one also dries down pretty matte, so once again I'd recommend a glossy top coat to smooth everything out, and I don't think you'll have any issues with texture or anything like that. And next we've got Existential Taxi Cab. This is a taxi-hued jelly base with turquoise, brown, and periwinkle glitters in various sizes. This is probably my top pick for the set. Um, I really, really liked this color. The contrast between those turquoise glitters and that yellowish type of base is very, very pretty. Um, very springy and very cheerful in my opinion. So this, um, the base color on it, I would describe as a somewhat bright, cheerful, sunny type of yellow. However, um, I want to note that there is a touch of a Dijon mustard type undertone happening here. So not quite a stark yellow, um, but still pretty um, loud on your nails. So for this one, I'm going to suggest between two and three coats, depending on how you polish. However, given that the paddle brush gives you such excellent product amount on the um, brush strokes, I think two coats on this one most will be just fine with it. So this does have a bit more of a jelly feel to it on application, but it still has that very dense, heavy-like formula to it that builds up crazy fast on the nail. So this one also dries down pretty much on the similar matte type side as the others. So once again, I'd recommend a glossy top coat just to really smooth everything out and I think you'll be just fine. And next we have the Spring Leaves Gossip About You, described as a creamy, grassy green base with gold flakes, aqua shimmer, and navy flex. So this one has a very similar formula to that first one I showed you guys, Ghost Snails. It's definitely what I would consider somewhat of a crelly, but it leans more of like a cream when you apply it. So this one has less of that super um, glittery type of bomb effect to it, and is mostly just packed full of those little flecks and those flakes in here. So on this one, while it does dry down on the flat side, and once again, I would recommend a glossy top coat with it, 
Um, this one has less of that textury type thing going on with it and just more of super creamy in your face opacity. So for this one, I would suggest two coats on it. That formula is fantastic. It self levels wonderfully. Um, this one is so pretty, very, very flattering type of green. I do feel like it is being pretty color accurate to what I'm seeing in person here um, in bright lights. It's just that lovely grassy type of um, somewhat minty type of green. And next we have this Princess Saves Dragons, so do I, a delicate lavender base packed with glitter and flakes in different shades of pink, purple, and lavender and finished with a rainbow shimmer. So this one is very, very cute. So I do agree that the base color to this is definitely a soft type of lavender shade. Um, so definitely not white in any means of the way, but there is definitely a strong lavender type tint going on with it. It is packed full of all types of pinks and purples. Very pretty, very cute. Now for this one, this has more of a crelly like feel to it, though still heavy and dense on application. So once again, I'm gonna suggest two coats for opacity on it. It really builds up like crazy and that opacity is very easy to be reached on it. Across the board, I was very impressed per usual with this brand. Um, she does crellies and glitter bombs so, so well um, in crelly style finishes that I'm always very impressed that she's able to get those medium and larger glitters in her polishes, but they're never any need for fishing or placement or anything like that. They just apply very, very easy. And next we've got Love Letter to Ellen Ripley. This is described as a brown jelly base swimming with purple to blue iridescent shifting glitters and shimmers. So this is um, what I would consider one of those atypical type of colors for spring. It's um, a little bit on the vampy side, but still fun. And I think it plays very well into the collection to rounds it out. So this has just the slightest bit lighter formula than the others and the rest of the set. So on this one, I'm going to suggest between two and three coats, though personally, I took it up to three thin coats on it. And you'll see here in a moment between the second and third coat, I think it just gives it that extra plumping factor and really smooths everything out for that um, full evenness across your nails. So in person, those little blue and purple flecks are very obvious. They're of the smaller variety, so you'll get that kind of twinkly type of flaky effect from them. And they definitely appear very prominently against that base. So I do feel like the base color is definitely a brown, so agree with the, full, with the official description. But there is just a touch of a um, almost like neutral effect to this one. So here on that third coat, you can see what I'm talking about. It really plumps everything out very nicely. Um, and in my opinion, I felt like it flattered it the best. So once again, I finished off with a glossy top coat on the final look here. And you can see it's just um, just super packed and banging with those flakes. And, and last but not least, we have Cybercat Dreaming of Neon Mice. Described as a soft gray jelly base with neon glitter and dots and spots in various shades of orange and red. This is finished off with iridescent purple flecks and shimmer. So I want to note that this one um, definitely has those little purple shimmers in it. I feel like it's being a touch shy on my swatches. So while it is on the softer type in person, um, it's definitely there in certain specific lighting. However, what really takes the center stage here are those neon glitters. They're so cute. Um, I had no issues with them. As you can see here, um, I definitely got excellent glitter payoff on those breast strokes. So no need for placement or fishing or anything like that. Now on this one, I'm also going to suggest two coats for full opacity on it as it does have a very strong creamy feel on it and it still has that very dense, um, somewhat heavy type feel on those breast strokes. So easy peasy, very, very easy to get that nice uh, pond effect from those glitters. And as you can see on that second coat, everything is plumped out very nicely. Once again, on the full hand shot, you are seeing a glossy top coat and I had no texture or anything like that afterwards. So the spring collection releases Friday, April 24th at 7 p.m. Central Time. I'll link you guys below to Scoflaw Nail Varnish's Facebook fan group if you want to check it out, what's going on, what's going on in there. And the shop if you want to take a look at other things in her shop too. I do have several videos of previous polishes that um, I've worked on with them. And if you are a glitter and crelly type of fan and you really let those really fun, colorful mixes, highly recommend checking out this brand. Um, very wonderful formulas overall. 
As always, if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.